Hello guys, this is Hunter Knight. Today we're gonna take a look at the new DC Comics Multiverse Wonder Woman from the Batman and Superman Donut Justice movie. This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Shop a great selection of action figures and more at BigBadToyStore.com Thank you for watching. As you can see, here is the much-awaited Wonder Woman. Alright, you can see, name, Wonder Woman, nice graphic with Gal Gadot. Nice, same bio for all of them. Nice graphic. I like the Photoshop or whatever it's, it's done. I mean, yeah, they have, they have done certain augmentations on her. On the back, same thing, like all the, four, the first four figures, the Grabnel Blaster, build a figure thingy. This is coming Multiverse on top. Okay, let's open this up and find out what the fuss is all about. Still, this thing is weird. Alright, finally we have her here, as we saw her in San Diego Comic Con. Okay, I did some checkups with the costume I saw at um, San Diego Comic Con. The sculpt is pretty faithful to that costume. I checked. I will say a 97% accuracy to 98. The biggest problem you have here with this figure is, is the proportions. The proportions don't work, okay? But we'll talk about that later. The face doesn't look like Gadot, the Gal Gadot, not at all. It just looks weird. In certain angles you might see that it kind of looks like her. You see how it changes? Yeah, In certain angles it kind of does. Yeah, another thing is that those huge eyebrows are throwing the whole look off too, way too much. Still, it's a ton more of paint than what a Marvel Legends has. You know, Marvel Legends barely have any paint on their faces. However, their sculpts are much more beautiful. She has a mole here. Well, this is from the mold, I think. Yeah, look at that. But the, the, the eyebrows, Jesus, it, it, those eyebrows are criminal. Yeah, no, somebody should go to jail. No, I'm, I'm kidding. The uh, hair, it's very, very, very blah, hard. Just you have to like, yeah. That's what you have to do if you have to. You want to make her turn. Same here. It's very hard, but uh, with some work you can do it. The strap is beautiful too, and it's glued on the back here. And uh, yeah, it's not removable. You see, all the detail has been has been translated. The problem is that the color. It's so bright. The one in the movie, it's you know, it's a darker color, so that, that kind of sets it off. Same with the skirt. Has some beautiful leathery detail here, all the way. The armored parts, the parts that are supposed to be gold, are armored, and they're very, they're, they're done well. Uh, the straps here too. She actually has these two straps. The boots, they also got the boots right. They have the straps. They even have. I mean, if you saw the the costume in San Diego Comic Con, it's, it's not like a single boot, it's like parts of the, it's a boot that comes in parts, I mean there's parts where her skin is exposed, alright, and they capture that in this figure, which is a good thing, they even, the, these three lines, they're also in the costume too, so they, uh, screen wise, they've done a great job of capturing the horseman, this is a, a, a figure that was sculpted by the four horsemen, okay, she comes with her lasso here, but the lasso, it's just, just too small, this is not a lasso, this is a freaking bracelet, you know, and it's not obviously it's not removable. Uh, I love the detail on the bracelet. It's very well, well well done. You see why it's not working is because the waist is way too freaking big, and the the top in general is. I mean, she Gal Gadot has skinny legs, and they translate that to the figure, so it makes it. Weird. But she also has a very tiny waist, so you know the proportions work with her. In this case, the, the waist is way too big and it throws the whole look off. That's why you don't feel it. That's why you don't feel this figure, because the, the waist is messing the whole thing up. It just looks too weird, like a freaking troll. It's just not... That, that's the part where, where this thing is all is, is kind of messed up. Uh, typical Mattel cut here. Uh, this may look as an articulation, but no, it's not really an articulation. It's like a... Uh, it's a slot. Where they just glue the leg, and you know, it's a lot weird design choice, but hey, kind of works. No ankle pivot. You're not gonna find any ankle pivot on the Mattel figures at all. This is just a classic, old school, you know, knee joint. The other part, the articulation on this girl at the elbow is weird as hell. I don't know why they went with this kind of socket, -y, socket articulation, but it's just like a 
if it doesn't flow completely, it doesn't really work. It doesn't really work. It bends and it turns, which is good, but it just gets kind of messed, lost in the thing. Uh, wrist articulation, yeah, she has wrist articulation. She can move the waist too, which is good. And she has a classic Mattel, you know. Ugh. There you go, purse. She's not wearing a thong, she's wearing an old school uh -huh. underwear. Okay, you got your get to this nudity shot there. And this is soft, so it allows her to move. She can they made this cut so she could like you know do this. Which is good, but it doesn't bend all the way. Diana comes with the shield. This is a bit different from the actual costume. I mean the costume is just three straps with a handle, but it's it's that's okay, it's good. Uh, it gets points because they have done the, the glyphs. This uh, this is ancient Greek. I cannot read a thing of it. I, I know there's some part that says Athena. That's 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 as, that's my, as much as my Greek knowledge goes. Very very good. Very good attention. And it actually has this on the real on the real prop on the real shield. It has all these Greek things that I saw on Comic Con. The bird is supposed to be low relief, almost not noticeable, but they did it in high relief here. You can tell it's good. You can barely see it on the trailer when she like pops the shield. I mean, it's there. It's there. By basic combat definition, you should train unless you're like you know left-handed. But let's assume she's right-handed. You're supposed to wear your shield on the left. All right. You pop it here, and she's supposed to grab it. Put the thumb in there, and voila, she's there. But however. Now the bird is upside down. <laughs> it's funny. On the contrary, if you do it on the right side, um, the bird will be on the right angle. However, you're gonna have a left-handed Wonder Woman. If that doesn't bother you too much, she's left-handed. It's funny, funny little detail. Uh, the sword, it's very, very faithful to the uh, actual thing. They has a rose bud here. They did it. Uh, it has. A bird here and all these weird things here. It it's absolutely faithful to the movie. The sword can go here, all right. However, in the in the Comic Con, she had the, the the sword train on her back, and actually can be achieved here. You can just pop it there. There we go. You can do it. Now Wonder Woman comes with uh, this part for the build a grapple gun. Yeah, this is the part that comes with Batman and Superman already combined. You just pop them here. Ah, there you go. Well, it, it has its pros and cons. The likeness is not there. The head is too big. The waist is too big. The legs are too skinny. It makes her look like a freaking Miami Chonga or I don't know. It just doesn't work. The proportions are messed up. The articulation is not as good as it could be. We have been by now we're so spoiled by the Marvel Art Legends articulation that any super articulation it's just not good. Like look at the legs, how she's standing. You see, like this is not like yeah, no. Uh, Mattel needs to catch up with the competition to you know improve their offerings right now. This is this would have been a great figure back in 2012. Uh, that's not the case now. If we could get the standards of paint that Mattel has with the articulation of Marvel Legends, we'll have the perfect retail figure. Eh, uh, you know, but at least Mattel could do a better job articulating these figures, otherwise they, they just like look like super products that could have been great, but they're just not that great. In regards of accuracy, it's beautifully accurate. This figure is very difficult to find. They pack either two per case or one per case depending on the retailer you buy them. Uh, if you want another, uh, you know, if you're looking for better likeness, better articulation, Mayfex so far, it's the thing to go right now. They have her on pre-order. She's at, as the as the, as of the publishing of this video, she's still available. I don't know if you know down the line she's done. God knows. So that's it, guys. That was my review. Thank you for watching. This is Hunter Knight signing out. <laughs> Die. Wasn't that fun? Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to visit the Toy Up Culture feed for the latest toy news. Impressive. Impressive.